Now, despite the arrest of the CEO, former Karnataka Chief Minister B.S. Yadurappa refuses to condemn him and continues to maintain his silence. Now, what's coming in is that uh, B.S. Yadurappa at one point had said that the charges against this Lingayat here are a conspiracy and he will come clean. But when he has been confronted again about this entire case, uh, B.S. Yadurappa has said he does not want to talk about it. The case is before the court and uh, now he's maintaining his silence after uh, sparking that firestorm uh, just a few days back where he said that this Lingayat Seer, he is being, he's a victim of a conspiracy. These charges are false and the investigation, and after the investigation, he will come out clean. But now what we are learning is that B.S. Yadurappa, former chief minister of Karnataka and one of the top BJP leaders in the, in the pole-bound state of Karnataka, he has said that I don't want to talk about it. This entire case is before the judiciary and the law will take its course. So after going all out to defend the Lingayats here, saying that this entire uh, charge is a conspiracy, that, uh, these, uh, that these allegations from those two minor girls, two children who were allegedly sexually assaulted in that mud for uh, three and a half years, after saying that their charges are completely baseless, B.S. Yadurappa now maintaining a complete silence when it comes to the case after the arrest of the Lingayats here, the arrest which took place on Thursday, and uh, now he has been sent to police remand till the 5th of September. Remember, uh, many uh, glaring questions have emerged when it comes to the entire investigation because this year was at the scene of the crime six days after the FIR was registered, six days after that stringent POXO charge was placed on him. The question remains, did he tamper with evidence? Did he influence witnesses to go in his favor? I'm joined by my colleague Ritu, who's reporting live from Chitra Durga, which is the epicenter of this entire crisis. Um, Ritu, uh, what's the latest you're getting from the police officials as the seer is in custody till the 5th of September? Yes, so you see the seer is now into the police custody where uh, he's been given for uh, a, a three-day custody and the interrogation is on now. The procedure has taken place, whole of investigation is taking place and just now we saw the moment of him moving from um, the DYSP's office uh, towards the medical test. So perhaps what we are knowing is that he's either uh, will be uh, taken for a medical test or for as in the Mahazar process as well as the investigation is on. So as pro uh, as part of uh, you know, the investigation process, the steps are being taken now from the officials the police are taking these kind of steps now so there are these kind of major developments that we are getting to see from the ground but of course we saw how he the seer also played uh, a sick card and there uh, 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 saying that he was uh, suffering with the cardiac related issues and thus was in a critical condition but later point court also made it very much uh, uh, clear that he will be uh, he, he will have to be into the police custody for three days because the interrogation will have to take place and thus the court also saw that his condition was all fine and not that serious that such major steps had to be taken but court also uh, questioned uh, the judicial uh, uh, you know the official saying that why was he been uh, moved uh, to hospital before even informing uh, the court so these were the kind of words that the court had also put out uh, to the officials but now you see these kind of uh, uh, developments taking place on ground where here has been moved from device space office so he was kept here after his medical test yesterday night so throughout night he was here from 9 a.m as we know the interrogation started and now he's been moved as part of an interrogation in either uh, what we are learning from our sources is like either it is uh, for the medical test or uh, for the uh, other process of the investigation right and we're getting some more details from the investigation ritu uh, now there's an update uh, when it comes to this investigation against this lingayat here his medical test was done yesterday at the government hospital. Doctors have handed over the provisional report to the police. Reports uh, have been submitted uh, at the court by the police. So the medical report has also been uh, submitted uh, after it was conducted uh, at the government hospital. That's the latest that we are learning. Uh, Ritu, what more details can you get for me? Let me give this clarity to you for clarity on this. Firstly, that the uh, the potency test is uh, been done by the medical uh, team, but uh, it is yet to be submitted to the court because it takes some time for the uh, submission and for the approval too. So it is just the potency test that has been in done by the medical team. But of course, now we have seen in about uh, uh, his medical condition as well. He had informed about the cardiac related issues previously and was then been in moved to all sudden to a hospital and. Uh, 
there we saw he was been kept in the hospital for a very long time almost 6 hours of duration we got to see and then he was been moved to a court as well because court asked the accused to be present for the for the police custody that the kind of words that the uh, court will have to put out and that's when the police gave uh, a 3 day custody and then he was been taken to uh, or taken for a medical test at night that's the potency test that we know uh, and then later point he was been brought back to dysp's office so there the interrogation started in the morning and now as part of the interrogation process you see there are movements that are taking place on ground. Right, and when it comes to the situation, the law and order situation in Chitradurga, uh, Ritu, what more can you get for us? Because this man is a very powerful and influential leader in Chitradurga. Uh, the victims are also, the survivors, if you will, are also in uh, Chitradurga with their families. Uh, when it comes to the law and order situation, especially protecting the victims, uh, the survivors and their families from intimidation and threats, what's the latest on that front? So the protection has been given to the girls and uh, they are all being taken over from the officials as and when what those kind of steps that are also uh, are taking place from the officials. So there is a protection enough that has been provided to the girls. But meanwhile, uh, you see about uh, the, uh, the situation right now in the Chitra Durga as well. So that's where behind me is the DC office, DY ASP's office and all and where uh, that, uh, the place where the CEO was also kept here. So barricades are all in place. People are not, uh, uh, are, you know, uh, the restricted from taking their vehicles in this particular route so this is the first barricade that we're getting to see there is also another step of a barricade that you can see which is uh, uh, being played the barricades being placed in front of the DC's office and there behind the second uh, a barricade a barrication is where the DY space office is where the CEO was kept for an interrogation but meanwhile you also see the police has been deployed here uh, and only uh, uh, specific people are allowed only the uh, office people from this uh, 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 DC's office, DYSP's office uh, are allowed inside with their vehicles but otherwise the movement has been restricted here but there is also uh, you see the police vehicles placed here uh, all, all around this particular location uh, looking up to the security as well and ensuring that the peace is maintained on ground. Right and Ritu at the same time uh, we learned that uh as you've been reporting also, the legal team of this year has been pitching that health card saying that he's been unwell for the last 15 days, uh, he has uh, heart problems uh, and you know like he has other medical complications. But we also have learned from police sources that three days back he tried to flee to Dubai and he was intercepted by the police, he was carrying his passport with him. Now does that kind of take the air out of this entire sick card that he tried to play in front of the court? Yes, yeah, so there are uh, many questions that have been raised here because uh, you see, uh, Seer who was been all doing well for the uh, you know the day that FIR was being registered for six days that no arrest was being made till then. And you know uh, we had seen our sources have also told us that he was doing fine. He was been seen uh, walking in the uh, park uh, which is at the mud premises only. So he was doing all good. But right after his arrest, after his medical test, morning at around 9:30 a.m. he complains about the cardiac related uh, uh, issues and the other uh, other health issues as well so that's when you know the uh, police takes him uh, to the uh, hospital all suddenly and there so the medical uh, all the medical test takes place the e, uh, the e, uh, eco and uh, other tests like uh, the ct scan were all been done at the hospital and the report were also out which were later point being submitted to the court saying that uh, the accused was very sick and, and thus it was a serious condition and uh, the officials had to take that kind of a step so you see the courts uh, uh, court clearly putting out a word saying that he can, uh, how can a, a judge even give a word out about uh, the police custody uh, to the accused when accused himself is not present in phys uh, in physical uh, in front of the court so then the court says that he will have to be presented immediately so that's where we saw how then he was being moved from the hospital there too we saw he was with no oh, oxygen mask and no other uh, medical related equipments too so there uh, he was been switched from the hospital to the uh, court he was brought here so right in just some time or uh, you know in a few minutes itself the court says that he will, will have to be in a police custody for three days and now the interrogation is on but clearly it has been seen as in how the seer had tried playing the sick card Absolutely, and even though